I'm too tired to play a game. I'm so hungry. Well, get your controllers ready. Get your food ready. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Munchin' Nerds. Nerds. What's up guys? Um, so, it's really hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. And there is an infection outside. Lots of... It's basically an apocalypse. It's lots of dead people and we haven't been able to provide anything besides this canned food for you guys today. It's really sad out there. <laughs> which brings us to our next topic, which is our game. What game are we going to be talking about today? The Last, Last of Us! Uh, so, uh, and to honor the game, we have brought canned can food. Foods. So nothing special, nothing fancy. Non-perishables. Non-perishables. Uh, anything you could possibly find in Apocalypse would be just this stuff, mm -hmm. essentially. So uh, we're going to try and eat some of this. <laughs> I re I've never had plain tuna before. I've always cooked it. I mean, I've had plain tuna, but it's been seasoned and stuff. And obviously, for our drinks, Bottled water, an essential for when you're in an apocalypse. <laughs> the number one priority when you're out there trying to hide from all the infected. <laughs> because you can go weeks without food, mm -hmm. but only days without water. True. So water is very important. So, uh, yeah, so I guess <laughs> let's yep. get started. Okay, so let's talk about the game. The Last of Us. Oh my god. Yours looks really gross. It looks disgusting, guys. <laughs> mm, mm, it's really good corn. So here's the thing, though. If you're starving, you don't give a crap. True. I would, I wouldn't care about any of this stuff if I was starving. <laughs> I'd be like digging into this. Like I could probably be drinking the juices out of this corn right now. <laughs> Oh, because it's water. Because it's water, yeah. So if I went weeks without this stuff, yeah, I'd be having, like, this would be like a class A dinner. Let's see. Is there any warning on this thing that says don't eat cold? It just says microwave and stovetop. Okay. What is that? What did you get? Ravioli? Chef Boyard. No, it's the oh. beefaroni pasta and meatsauce. Let's try it. I, I just want to watch this. It's actually not that bad. Oh. <laughs> so, Last of Us. Last of Us 2 is coming out pretty soon. So everyone's really excited. Um, Ellie's coming back, so she's back. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully as a main character, because uh, Joel is uh, old. Is his name Joel? His name's Joel, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. He's old. Uh, but man, the first game, oh, geez. What a roller coaster of emotions that game had. Don't let me start on it. <laughs> she told me she cried. I mean, a lot of people cried. <laughs> a lot of people cried at the beginning of that game. I didn't because mm -hmm. I was all like, well, this is pretty strong. <laughs> Not even just the beginning of the game. Throughout the entire game. Like, you're like shocked. You're surprised. You're like, WTF. But it messes with their emotions. And then at the end of the game, something happens. And then it happens while you're playing the game. So I'm just like this. Playing the, playing the game, trying to see through my tears <laughs> while I'm playing. So I'm just like, I can't see. I can see where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Because so, I was crying. <laughs> it was really funny because um, when I was playing the game, my uh, good friend Aldrin, props to Aldrin, he's getting married soon. But um, <laughs> my good friend Aldrin would all, it, it was funny because I would not play the game until Aldrin came to my house. Aldrin didn't have the game at that time, so we would play it at my house, and Aldrin would like watch, and he'd be, it'd be like a cinematic to him. Oh! So it was like he was watching a movie on full. really good. Yeah. Cutscenes and everything. Yeah, I, like this is the first time I've ever played a game where I I want to like continue the story like really bad. I'd be like, oh my god, just keep going, please. And then you think it get repetitive, but you can do a lot of different things in this game, mm -hmm. like. You don't have to kill everything. Yeah, you, you gotta choose your options. Yeah. Like, you have to, like, manage your resources really good. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're like me, you hoarded all your gunshots and never <laughs> used them because you thought you were going to need them at the end of the game. And then also because you don't want to attract all the spores. Yeah. Oh, man, the spores. It's so creepy. Like, the way 
they describe them, it could happen in real life, I guess. I mean, yeah. it, I don't think it can happen. It's happening right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it can, but it definitely feels like if something like that was to go down, then I feel like that's what would happen. Mm -hmm. Mass chaos, everyone fending for themselves. Scrounging up cans as you can. Here's my uh, chili. So I grabbed chili because I was all like, I think this would be good. Mm -hmm. So this one does require a... Uh, and I got beans, the also fire can. Can opener, sorry. And I got, I got some of that also fried. There we go. I almost forgot how to use a uh, can opener for diet. Here, you gotta open up your own. We're not apocalypse. <laughs> you gotta fend for yourself. Oh! <laughs> it smells so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Can I smell it? Yeah, go ahead. I can't tell if I like the smell or not. I don't. It's intriguing. It's, oh my god. It's like, it's like I smell tuna. Yeah, okay, that's what, that's that's what, what it is. That's what it is. It's like, it smells like tuna, but we already have tuna. Okay, what? here we go, guys. All for the apocalypse. Disgusting. It's not good. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mine's a little water. Yeah, bake, because you have to bake it. I don't think that's water. Oh, sauce. Yeah, it's sauce. sauce. It's the sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, so it has no flavor. I mean, it has the beans, but where's the chili? <laughs> I guess when you heat it up, it makes the chili more prevalent. You know what it could use? Some pickles. <laughs> I hate she pickles. Hates pickles. But in an apocalypse, you can't hate food. What if this is all we ran into? Did what I if... just eat the pickle and vomit? And <laughs> <laughs> what if all there was is just like, oh guys, we've got a plethora of pickles to choose from? Then I'd be screwed. <laughs> mm. I love pickles. Pickles are amazing. They are they? Is that the sweet one? Yeah. Do you like the carnival beans? So, at the beginning of the game, you're thrown into the apocalypse already. Like, yeah, it's already good. It, it has begun. Like, it's, it has started. And it's super interesting. Like, how you just watch the world just, like, little by little, you start, like, seeing everything fall apart. You start at your house, and then eventually you end up in the city. And then mm -hmm. you just watch it all unfold. And it's like you have no idea what's going on. The city was interesting. The house was scary for some reason because you have to be really careful not to trigger the spores and to make sure they don't hear you. Mm. Yeah, there were different kinds of spores. There was like the bulky one, the one that could only hear you, mm -hmm. so you have to make noises. Which is, yeah, which was another huge gimmick of the game. Like you have to throw things to make noise to mm -hmm. move things away from you, and, and that was why super. we have these caps and toss them. <laughs> it's interesting because. They're humans, but they're just infected humans. And like what he said, it's trippy because it could happen in real life. Like if like a scientist in like a government lab or something like that, conspiracy theories. <laughs> you conspiracy theories. I think I saw like a documentary on the spores or whatever, mm -hmm. or like how in real life they do attach themselves to smaller animals. Like I saw one attach itself to like a, another animal and it was like growing on the animal and mm -hmm. infecting its brain. So like it would be the host. Like you know that po the Pokemon Parasect? Mm. It's like that. Mm -hmm. It's like that. But uh, I, I just I just remember like how good the story was. Like the story was so good. I've never had a game impact the story. Like the story was a huge part of the game. And during that time, Games were starting to lose that. Like when The Last of Us came out, it was the first time I finally was like, "Oh, cool, a story-driven game that I'm really enjoying right now." It was a, it was. I was like, that's why I was playing it like almost every day. I mean, not every yeah. day because I had to wait for Aldrin to come over so we could finish it. Well, I would play it for like hours straight because I'm very like when I play games, I, I like to be thorough. <laughs> so it took me a while to finish the game. Especially since you could have conversations with Ellie. Yeah. You have conversations with Ellie throughout the game. Like if you just wait for a little bit, like she'll make some like really random comments. She'll mm -hmm. be like, 
she'll see like a comic and she'd be like, did you read these? Because mm -hmm. she's living in a world where the apocalypse is already yeah. already there. It's already like, it's part of her world. So everything before that is like born to her. But then Joel is like her mentor because he was there before yeah. all this. So he was like the guiding. They man. just met, right? They met randomly. I totally forgot the beginning. I just remember the ending because the ending got me. So Joel was assigned to take her to the fireflies, I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. He was assigned okay, to yeah. take her. Sorry, I got excited. I don't know if it was the fireflies or whatever, but he was assigned to take her. And then shit happens, and so he can't take her anymore. Or, like, he can't reach his destination, so we have to take, like, these long routes to get, uh, to get her to where she's supposed to be. And then more shit happens <laughs> like this story expands mm -hmm. i re okay so this is the my one of my best favorite parts when you control ellie when you take control of ellie during the i, I don't i don't even know if it's like the second half of the game the arcade no you control her you play as her. Oh, okay. you play as ellie and it was just awesome because joel's like like he's almost dead oh yeah I remember in the snow? Yeah. Yeah. So Joel's like almost dead, so you have to control Ellie. And when I was doing that, I was like, whoa, I'm controlling Ellie. This is cool. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just for like a little bit. You control her for like a good chunk of it. It was a while. Mm -hmm. And then... You'd be surprised that Joel didn't freaking die. I like how in one part of the game you control, you go back to controlling Joel. And then there's this one scene. But it was so irritating because he's so slow. Cause yeah, I mean he's dying. <laughs> and then like when you're controlling Joel, you like go into the thing, and then out of nowhere you start controlling Ellie. Cause you have to kill the dude, and I was like, whoa, so much going on, and you're like, holy shit, what do I do? And man, that's when I thought I was like, yeah, this game, this game is awesome. And there'll be times where I'd be like, I wonder if I could, if I could not kill anybody, <laughs> just go through the game without like murdering anybody, but. Oh, that game. Yeah, because it makes you think like, oh man, that could happen outside your house. Like, do you ever make, like, scenarios, make up scenarios? Like, in the game, there's a freaking infection and it's basically a zombie apocalypse outside. You ever think about, like, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna find bullets? Where are you gonna find ammo? Where are you gonna find food? <laughs> like, or how you're gonna make your defense weapons? You know what my defense weapon is? This shed right here. Wait, he's gonna get locked in I'm gonna and then lock what? myself in the shed. <laughs> no air circulation. <laughs> Let the zombies run around or infected and I'll be like back here like <sighs> stock up this whole thing with like cans, like cans up there, cans of food up there. <laughs> he has his hammers, his hand saws. Mm -hmm. Just in case. See? Games make you think about this stuff too much. Yeah. Like I'm trying to have like a course course action plan right now about what I would do right, to like, not die. Like in the game there's a scene in a shopping mall. You think shopping malls are safe, right? Because it's like multiple, depending on which mall you're in. Like multiple levels of the mall. You could easily like gate it down. But sometimes sneaky spore people can sneak into the store. Because there's so many things, because there's air vents too. So where are you, where are you guys going to run if there's a zombie apocalypse? Would you go to a mall? The good thing about living on this side is that there's a lot of places that are like empty. <laughs> like, you know, if you go far back enough, like, mm -hmm. going towards, like, I don't know. Yeah, that area. North? Mm hmm it's just, it's just mountains over here. Like, yeah, but would you even go in the mountains? Like, there's no supplies, there's no... There's that's no when you gotta think about, like, how many supplies... And you're vulnerable, you're out in the open, so if the spores that could see you, sees you, you're screwed. <laughs> mm, I guess, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. So, the game originally released on the PS3. And it had a bunch of bugs on it. I remember the safe bug, where uh, a lot of people lost their files. Um, so that was a big thing. I didn't lose my file, thankfully, because I I don't know. I guess I had it. I never lost my file. No, but a lot of people did. Um, like they'd be halfway through the game, and then their file would just delete for some odd reason. So uh, they addressed it. Naughty Dog. I think I think it was Naughty Dog that made the last of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. They they addressed yeah. it. They said like we're sorry for this, and then they had to patch it. And then, they re-released it on the PS4, and I never got it. I don't know why. I, I, I got it. Well, I, we got, my sisters and I got the DLC. And there's a, 
spoiler, there's a added story if you get the DLC one for the PS4. I actually just watched the sto that part. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> so in that story mode, you just play as Ellie. Yeah. And uh, her friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in that story mode, yeah, I, I watched it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not gonna spend money on this, <laughs> so I just watched it on YouTube. Spoilers. Again. Yeah, I wish I would have played it though. I kind of wanted to because they just added a little bit more story to her, mm -hmm. which is cool because the whole time you're following Joel, you don't really know too much about Ellie. Yeah. You just know she's a kid and she's very curious. You don't know where she's coming from. And you don't you don't know why she is infected and isn't turning. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they don't explain it in the side story either, but no. you see it happen, <laughs> so you're like, oh, okay, so that's how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys do? Like, do you guys have a game plan for like when there's, if there, when there's, I'm talking like there's gonna be an apocalypse. <laughs> if there, if, let's just theoretically say that the world just went to hell and zombies or infected or something just appeared. Do you guys have a game plan? like? You gotta have a location. Mm -hmm. You guys have food stock. You guys know how to make shift weapons. Are you gonna fucking go out there and save your family? Are you gonna stay home and be like, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. I can't do anything. They're dead. Honestly, if there were zombies and they were fast moving zombies, I'd be like, that's it. Just take me. <laughs> Just take me, because I'm dead. There's no way. Even the infected, the spores, they're fast too. True. They they're, are. they're fast. They're not slow. Man, I, you know how many times I would be like, think? All of a sudden they go, and then they'll run. I'm like, and I mean just screaming. Yeah, when, when they hear you, they make a loud ass noise. They go, yeah. and you're like, oh god. And then it's not just one, they attract the spores. Yeah, the all of them. Dude, this one time, I attracted all of them by accident and I threw a Molotov and I killed all of them in the room. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I'm such a badass. Aldrin was there for that one, he saw it. Yeah, let us know if you guys have a game plan because mm -hmm. we don't, honestly. But it really depends. If they're fast moving zombies or fast moving something, I'm mm -hmm. I'm dead. There's no way. Because they don't have they don't have stamina. They don't uh, they don't need stamina. They'll just fucking keep running. Wait, so if there was a freaking zombie or infection apocalypse mm -hmm. thing and then I'm at home. I live pretty far she from She lives you. far from me. Like, would you save me? Fuck. Would you try saving me that or would you try good like question. like if I'm over here and you're over there? Yeah, because you're on you're where he lives, he's on the side where he could actually go to other places, yeah, other so, states. Other so we're places. separated by a bridge. Mm -hmm. A very famous bridge. Um so we're separated by that bridge. So I would have to it takes me 45 minutes to get to her place without mm -hmm. traffic. With traffic, that's like an hour twenty. Yeah. But where I live I can't go to other like states. And you're, and you're, I'm like I'm on an island. Basically. Here's the thing: she lives on the side where the big city is, so mm -hmm. she's you have to go there. she's screwed. <laughs> she's screwed. I'm at least on the side. Like I'm further away from the cities. Like yeah. I'm further from the two biggest cities right now. I'm, I'm the furthest away. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if you go further back from my area, you're in mountains. <laughs> so I am possibly in the safer area. So the big question that she's asking is: Would well, I? Would me. I go back? But here's the thing though, I don't think I'd be able to. And here's why. They would probably block off the bridge. Mm -hmm, to quarantine. Quarantine, containment, they'd block off the bridge and I'd have no way to get to you. Mm -hmm. The only way I'd be able to get to you is if I boat or, or swam over there. So in other words, he's just like, bye! <laughs> nice knowing you! <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, I wouldn't be able to. They would have already contained the city and they would have told nobody to go in. What if it was a big infection that they couldn't quarantine? Oh man. No, you said like, this is by. <laughs> man, you're in like the worst part though. Mm -hmm. You're in the middle of like civilization. Mm -hmm. I'm at, is there a safe place in my area? You'd have to go down. No, not even down. Oh. No, if you go down, oh, remember the mountains. There's the mountain route. Yeah, but then there's like, there's left line things. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? There's what? Lion what? cubs. Mountain lions. Mountain lions. Oh. I don't know. It's always fun to talk about like what we what you would and wouldn't do. So mm -hmm. let us know in the comments below what you guys would do. What do you guys do? Yeah. Do you guys have a plan? Do you have a plan? Are you gonna save your loved ones? Mm -hmm. Are you guys trained in anything? <laughs> do you have army? Our army uh, specialists can you use guns? I've been to a shooting range once. I'm into none. So I have a semi. Oh, oh no! I have a semi good uh, handle on guns, but I. I did archery class once. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck is that? I don't that? handle a bow. Oh, uh, whoop, miss, dead. <laughs> <laughs> you missed one shot. Oh, you know what's funny though? You could do that in The Last yeah, of Us. You use the bow and arrow because you don't want to be too when you're loud. Ellie. Yeah, no, not just Ellie. When you're also uh, Joel. Oh yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, she so takes it. She he, takes it. So yeah, she takes it to use it, but he also uses it because if you want to be quiet, you kill them with the bow and arrow mm -hmm. instead of using a gun, which I used for a lot of the game because I was all like, can I get them with this one <laughs> shot? But I'm trash with the bow and arrow. So we're about reaching the end of our. Uh, Feast. Uh, mm -hmm. We're kind of full. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> we don't want this. This is a little bit upsetting our tummy. Yeah, we really are. Um, this was nice to try though. Mm -hmm. Like, this didn't cost me a lot of money. <laughs> this was actually recommended for my sister. She oh, yeah. was like, why not do a canned food challenge? Because in The Last of Us, they like scrounge up food. I'm like, you right? <laughs> so shout out to you, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the sister. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, this was fun. I really mm -hmm. like this because not every time we have to eat fancy food yeah. to uh, talk about video games. We can so all... if you have any other suggestions like these, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah. And I highly recommend you play The Last of Us. It's such a good game. Like yeah. he knows I get tired of games pretty easily. Like I'll play like halfway and then I'll just like stop because mm -hmm. I get uninterested in it. But this storyline is so good. The storyline is not repetitive. It's it's. Calm yeah. yourself. You're stuttering. <laughs> That's how much <laughs> she's so <I> excited. <laughs> the game is really good. It and is. If you good. haven't played it, it keeps it, you interested. Yes, it really grabs your attention. Yeah. And I would say play it before you, you get. I mean, if you play the first one, you're obviously going to get the second one. Yeah. But who are we kidding here? Yeah. Everyone's excited. One. I was excited when I saw the trailer. I think what was it? Two years ago, or <laughs> a year ago, for Last of Us Part Two. I was like, yes! Oh yeah, when well, they announced it yeah, in that was um, cool. E3? E3. It E3? Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, again, if you guys have any suggestions on food we should try, any challenges you want us to try, any games you want us to talk about, let us know in the comments down below. Yep. Yeah. And also, we already have planned something for next week, so mm -hmm. we're not... That one's going to be interesting. That one's going to be fun. Yeah, and it's spoopy. It's going to be <laughs> spoopy. That's it, guys, for today. Gamers, try and survive. Mukbangers, try to scrounge up as many food as you can. We'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye! Bye. Bye.